What's up, YouTube? Ryan here. Welcome back to 1517 Films, where in every episode I am always contending for the faith, once for all, delivered to the saints. Today we're doing part three of John Ramirez's Reasons Not to Observe Halloween. Stick around. <laughs> So I think at this point, it's fair to say it's not about whether or not Christians should or shouldn't observe Halloween anymore. I think that point has been made moot by the last two videos. And if you haven't watched them, we'll pop a link up on the top. You can watch part one, part two, and then you can come in on part three. But the important thing to start out with is I really want to establish there is no command in the Bible to celebrate Halloween, and there is nothing in the Bible that forbids us from celebrating Halloween. And by that I mean putting on costumes, going trick-or-treating, watching a scary-esque movie on Disney Plus that's family-friendly. These things are neither commanded nor forbidden in the scriptures. But what John Ramirez does is he takes connections from his past as a Satanist to these brand new American tradition surrounding Halloween, and he ties them together. He's trying, he's showing you an apple and telling you that it's an orange. That's what he's doing. And so this is no longer about whether or not Christians should celebrate Halloween. This is about how he argues that they shouldn't, how he argues that Halloween is evil, even though uh, the definition of the word hallow Holy Eve, evening, the night of the Holy Ones, the night before All Saints Day, the night before the church recognizes the power of the resurrection for those who have fallen asleep in the faith. Yeah, that's evil. We should have nothing to do with that. <clears throat> and as far as the traditions of the United States or other countries around the world where there's costumes and trick-or-treating, I'm pretty sure Paul says, don't judge people based on feasts and observances. You know, what's good for your conscience might not necessarily be good for someone else's or what's bad for your conscience might not be bad for someone else's. I have friends and family that don't observe Halloween. I think it's silly and stupid because they do it out of fear, out of this kind of argumentation that John Ramirez presents, but I don't tell them that they have to. Although more often than not, they tell me I'm not allowed to take my kids trick-or-treating, but that's, that's besides the point. We're on to part three, argument number three from John Ramirez, and we're going to go to another video. Remember the last time I showed you the clip from the popular video that people like to show you to tell you why Halloween is satanic because they're too stupid to pay attention to actual documented world and church history to find out that it's not actually evil. So we're into argument three of John Ramirez. Now, I don't see how Christians want to be part of darkness. I don't see, I, one of the, another reason, I, 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 it's like mm -hmm. saying, I don't see Satanist people saying, hey, John, Good Friday is coming. Can I come to your church? Could I come celebrate Good Friday with you? Because, you know, I, that's the right thing to do. I, I, am, I think that I should go there and celebrate the, 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 the finished work of the cross, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. I want to be part of that. I don't hear, them, I don't hear Satanists, you know, packing our churches on Good Friday. I don't see that. So why, well, why are we running and celebrating something that the Satanists are, are laughing at us? Okay, so that's a completely stupid argument. <clears throat> I'm not even going to lie. That is a dumb argument. And sometimes when you are debating with someone, you don't necessarily want to you know, beat them down with your, your point and your evidence. Sometimes the best part of a debate comes from when you say, look, I'm trying to see things from your perspective, but that was a bad argument, and here's why that one argument doesn't work. You're not attacking the person. You're not ad hominem. I'm not saying John Ramirez is a psychopath, although he is. He's a psychopath. He's a false prophet, and he's teaching literally for shameful gain what ought not be taught. That's right. If you want to go to one of his seminars and learn spiritual warfare, which he is at this very moment on his YouTube channel pushing that it's spiritual warfare week. And if you, you know, when a coin in the coffer rings, a soul from Halloween springs. Yeah, same damn thing. But this argument, the Satanists don't celebrate Good Friday. Most Christians don't go to a black mass on Halloween. As a matter of fact, no Christian goes to a black mass on Halloween. Whatever the Satanists are actually doing as a part of their rituals on Halloween, no Christian is participating in. And the only reason the Satanists are laughing at us is because they think 
that the tradition of putting on a costume and going to get candy and bobbing for apples, they think that these things have spiritual power. But again, we go back to Paul's words about false idols and how they have no power and Christians should not be afraid to eat meat sacrificed to false idols. It's the same thing. They think these things have power. These things, by the declaration of the Word of God, don't have power. So let them laugh. But this is a stupid comparison. Well, you're dressing up your kids as Pikachus and taking them trick-or-treating, but they're not coming to a Good Friday service. We're not going to Black Mass. We're decorating or, or decorating pumpkins, which, by the way, I put pumpkins out on my front porch. I carved pumpkins with my kids. I'm still waiting. A chew, a chew. Where are you at? The lazy demon. A tune has not come and cursed me yet. I'm 37 years old. I've done pumpkins every year of my life. A tune, where are you at, man? A tune. Maybe because the river demon of that false religion doesn't exist, and that's why nothing happens. So argument number or argument number three is incredibly stupid. And if you think that, well, maybe this was just a bad argument, no, this is how he argues. Let's go back to that video that one that most Protestants will show you to convince you you shouldn't celebrate Halloween, and let's watch him make another false comparison. Now, and, and Halloween is, is one of the, the man, if you if you see if you go back to the history of Halloween, and I'm talking about the history years after years, the most demonic attack, the most people missing, the most people missing people human sacrifices, uh, skulls, uh, cemeteries. Plots upside down, people digging up bones and skeletons and people digging up skulls for Halloween. If you see the situation with Halloween, if you see the situation with, with, with attack with, uh, with the, uh, the gentleman, the, 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 young boy, the young kid that did the, the, the attack on uh, the movie theater out in Colorado, a demon, a, 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 demon, a, a demon possessed person celebrated Halloween. If you see the situation with the young man in, uh, in the school in Connecticut celebrated Halloween. You hear that? These kids that did these awful shootings celebrated Halloween. That's why they did did the awful shootings. Well, they also put their pants on one leg at a time. And they also drink water. And they eat supper. There's numerous things that these evil kids did that you and I do every day. They go to sleep. They take showers. They eat food. They drink water. They watch movies. They spend time with their families. All these things that you and I do, but, but, but the Halloween one, they celebrated Halloween, ergo, they shot people. Why, Protestants, why do you take this so seriously? This is nonsensical garbage. This is not how you argue a point. Maybe if you wanted to find ties to the occult, maybe you might have an argument. But even then, it's not... Halloween, because Halloween is simply the night before All Saints Day, where we celebrate the faithful departed that they will be raised with Christ on the last day. But maybe the occult, which is not Halloween, Halloween and the occult are not exclusive to each other just because Satanists say so. In the same way that pagans of old had idols and said that these idols had power and Christians thought they should be afraid of the idols and God had to speak through Paul to say, no, those idols are nothing. I am the one true God. They have no power. Don't worry about it. He doesn't know how to make an argument. And you can tell he's lying through his teeth because of the way he talks. He's talking so fast. He's struggling to get words out. He's fighting for ideas. He's jumbling together his word salad so that it sounds profound. But this is garbage. This is absolute garbage. This is not how we argue a point. This is not how we convince people of anything. And if you're a Christian and you're spouting this kind of garbage, then you're making people laugh at Christianity. You're not talking about anything that is objectively true, like the resurrection of Jesus. You're not talking about that. No, you're talking about, dude, that that kid that shot the people in the movie theater in Colorado used to carve pumpkins and go trick-or-treating. That's why Halloween's evil. I've carved pumpkins and gone trick-or-treating every year of my life. Either, well, not every year, because I was too old. There was that period of time from when I was too old to when I started having children that I didn't trick-or-treat or or carve pumpkins, really. But I've been doing it my whole life. I don't shoot people. And I would like to point out, I served two tours in Iraq. 
and still never shot anyone. I've threatened to a couple of times, but they decided to listen to the words when faced with the barrel of my gun, and I didn't have to shoot. So I've been in a position where I might have to shoot someone and didn't have to shoot, but, and I celebrated Halloween. But this kid, these kids celebrated Halloween, and now they're going around shooting people. This is a dumb argument. And the, so, so going back to his first point in argument number three, I don't know why Christians want to have anything to do with darkness. That's why. Because we have a pulse. Because we're human beings. Because even though we are set apart, called, justified, redeemed, bought back, purchased, made holy, we are still sinful human beings. And we incline our hearts towards darkness, which is why we need to be redeemed and why we need to repent on a daily basis. That's why. But this garbage... Christians participating in this garbage, Christians listening to this, what they are doing is they're letting him scratch their itching ears. They itch, just like we all itch when we're being honest with ourselves. They itch for darkness. And this scratches that itch in a pious way that only appears right, but it's absolutely false. Absolutely false. So it's no longer about whether or not Christians should or shouldn't celebrate Halloween, although I think at this point, as a matter of personal conscience, I must observe the American traditions of Halloween simply because he says I can't. And that's where I take my stand on this. Looking forward to doing part four or five and wrap up with you. Until next time, may God richly bless you in the grace and mercy won for you by Jesus' vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins. I put a spell on you. And now you're mine. <laughs> you can't stop the things I do. I ain't lying. No! No! Oh, don't listen to that! In 300 years, right down to the day 